I know. All right, we got some speech to find too, so I'm going to try to be relatively quick. Let's get up here. Come on up the stage. Come on up the stage. Ken, come on up the stage. Regina, get up here. Angelique, Susie, 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 Angelique, get up here. Okay. All right. So I want you to know that I had not one, not two, but three speeches ready for tonight's presentation. So we had, we had the, uh, you know, things aren't going so well speech. Throw that one away. That was the dark speech. It's not going to happen, all right? I had the we're going to be here late into the evening speech. Screw that. And I have, for all of us, the victory speech. All right, so I'm going to be serious for one moment because this is serious. This is about our town. So, first of all, let me say, on behalf of the Boulder Chamber and the entire coalition that was one Boulder, I am so pleased and proud to stand before you to say we have defeated these nasty initiatives and we are on to brighter days for Boulder. Congratulations, Boulder! So I just have to say, it's very clear, just even from the people standing up here on the stage, that this was one of the broadest coalitions of individuals, organizations coming together, folks who come from all different walks of life, all different political persuasions, coming together to defeat and to advance our community forward. And that's why we were successful tonight that is it, you gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. When these two initiatives emerged, many of us said, you know, listen, these things are going to be absolutely harmful for our community. We had conversations about them. We worked together and we recognized that we needed, despite some disagreements on previous issues, we had to come together collectively and support our support ourselves as we took on these divisive and, div uh, and costly initiatives. And we said, listen, we need to say no to division in this community. And absolutely the voters agreed to us. Listen, 60, 40, that's a repudiation. Yeah. Yeah. So as I stand before you tonight, I'm sick of saying no. I say that, I do not want to be somebody who's always saying no, so I get to take this button off. No, no, keep yeah. it. Yeah. 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 It's a collector's item. It's a collector's item. I give this to the youth of America. And I say, we want to say yes to Boulder. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we will continue to work together to define our community vision for a vibrant, and inclusive Boulder. Amen. We will say yes, and we will include all voters in our comprehensive plan process. That means the young, that means the old, that means the renters, that means the homeowners, that means neighbors, and that means businesses. And yes, and yes, we will say to a balanced community, a community that supports a sustainable economy, a sustainable environment, and a sustainable social culture. That's what we are about. That was what keeps us a wonderful and, yes, weird Boulder community. Yes. You came out strong, talking to our neighbors. You, all of you standing here, I bet you every single one of you wrote a letter to the, uh, to the Daily Camera, either a letter to the editor, an opinion piece. You contributed your time and so many of you, thank you. A broad cross diversity of individuals supported us with your treasure. Thank you, that's what fueled this campaign. But as trusted community leaders, you help voters understand why these measures with their candy coated titles would have been so bad for Boulder. Thank you so much 
for seeing the possibility of what we can do when we stand together. Yeah. So we're going to have a couple of other folks stand up, but I just have to acknowledge the individuals and organizations that were a part of this coalition. So first, I want to start by recognizing a couple of people. I don't know, is Bob Morehouse here? Where's Bob? Where's Bob? Bob? Where's Bob? Oh, he's over at Open Boulder? Open Boulder. Okay. He's at Open Boulder and Andy Schultz is here. So what's the deal with that? But I just want to say that there were a few individuals. Sean, get up here. Sean, get up here. TBI. Sean, the TBI. I'm just about to recognize you. Dan Powers. Where's Dan Powers? Dan's way in the back there. So, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be relatively quick as I talk about this, but I just want to say, when we talked about how do we want to represent ourselves into the, in this election, we talked about that broad diversity, and there were three individuals who stepped up and said, "We will be the leaders. We will be the voice. We will speak out on this campaign." Those three individuals are familiar to all of us. They're beloved in this community, even though sometimes they're maligned. <laughs> Bob Morehouse, Leslie Durgan, and Will Tor. So then to tell you how crazy this campaign was, we reached out to somebody who is often recognized as the top campaign leader in this community, but yet somebody who is sometimes a little out of reach to the business community. And that is Regina Coles. Regina ran a campaign that was both energetic during a period, I will tell you, of um, personal, personal trial. She ran a campaign strategically, and she drove all of us to work together and to think about how do we work together as a unified group to defeat these initiatives. Thank you, Regina. I also need to recognize that Regina couldn't do it alone, and so we found somebody who was a trained facilitator of all things to come and support our efforts. And I don't know if he's here. He's still here at nine. He'll be here at nine, he's got kids. But Andrea Menegal <laughs> yeah. who turned his facilitation skills into some very mean yeah, he's advocacy work on, on behalf of yeah. One Boulder. So yeah. cheers to Andrea. So I'm gonna just walk through the other group 